now we're back here, ready to roll. So I'm excited. It's been good. Was it kind of strange at all when before that happened that you, that you were thinking, "Wow, I'm not rehabbing right now, and I'm not doing it. I'm not." You were on such a, a you know a hamster wheel since you got here to finally have that time off. Was that like? Yeah, I mean it was huge. Um, I got married um, really a year since surgery. So like I got surgery March 10th, I got married March 9th. So for me it was like, all right, this is gonna be a different kind of off season. And um, it's nice that I don't have to be on this schedule and regime of, you know, rehab, 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 get healthy and, and sort of stress about, am I gonna make it back in the season or not? So it's been nice to obviously marry Jenna and then, and then we sort of just have an off season to breathe and reflect on really the last two years. So it's been go, go, go. So. Um, for me, it's been really good, just mentally and, and uh, sort of having that, that hunger to come back and, and be ready to roll, so it's been good. Uh, Jen York said that they anticipate down the line paying you a tremendous amount of money, far more than you're, you're currently paying me now. Does that sort of stuff reach you at all? And how do you take that into account with everything that you need to take into account this offseason? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, for me, it's, I've said this time and time again, um, just in terms of taking it one day at a time. I'm trying to win this year and uh, do everything I can for this organization this year. Um, everything else happens how it happens, but for me, um, I need to get better from last year. You know, on the film and and the things that I saw from you know last year and my rookie year. It's like, man, I, I've got this thing in me where it's like I want to continue to master my craft, and, and that's that. And so. Um, it's a business, obviously, too. Um, but for me, I mean, I love this game. I love um, just competing with these guys in this organization. I love this organization, and I want to continue to represent myself for them and and uh, in the right way. So um, that's where I'm at with that. You know, getting too caught up in all that kind of stuff is, is for me, that's nonsense. So, um, you know, just taking one day at a time and get better. Brock, how much of that have you done in terms of the last couple of months going back and looking at last year? What were the things that you saw that you said, yeah, I mean, just going back and watching the games and sort of seeing the themes of what pop up and and uh, then when I go out in the field and, you know, like hammer away at the little details and, and the fundamentals, uh, just with footwork and timing, my eyes, uh, concepts, you know, all of it. There's there's a lot of stuff that I think I can clean up and get better at for sure. So, um, you know, coming back here, it's been great sitting down with the coaches and going over games and, and concepts, um, how I can continue to get better. And so... Uh, obviously, it's good that we have a lot of film to watch. Where in you know, my rookie year, you have seven games or so, where it's like you know, these, these are things that came up. But also, you got to rehab and get your arm healthy. So now I can actually attack you know those things. You know, at practice and on the field, routes on there, all that kind of stuff. So I can sort of hone into trying to master my craft. Brock, how'd you feel about the Super Bowl and how you played? And when you watch the film, what were your takeaways from from the game? Yeah, I mean, um, I just think you know. It's such a big game. Everything is magnified, you know. Just every play can be the play. And so, uh, you know, going back, it's like, man, I could have done better here with my eyes and my feet and uh, with this read and make that throw. Uh, you know, there's a handful of plays. And so for me, it's like, you know, dang, I, I could have been better. And I want to be, like, better next time we get in that position and, and be ready for those opportunities um, when they come. And, and that sort of sinks back to just what I said, just in terms of my fundamentals and, and the little details, man. If I could just do that in the big moment, um, then I'm going to make the right play and we get the first down and then obviously whatever, time management, clock management, score, touchdowns, those things translate over. So that's where I'm at. Um, when I watch it, I'm real about it. Um, obviously, wish you won the game, won the Super Bowl, and won the championship of this organization. Um, but, you know, it happens, and for me it's like, I gotta learn from it, like truly learn from it, not like set emotion, set the emotions and the feelings and stuff aside, like remember those, but let's be real about the film and, and get better from it. Um, there's a lot of things that we can learn and grow from, so that's what comes to mind when I watch it. Brock, are you aware of how much your name is talked about this time of year in the draft? You know, teams, this is the next Brock Purdy, or looking for the next Brock Purdy, this kind of under the radar quarterback could be the next Brock Purdy. Does that ever come across your radar? Do you hear from some of those, you know, maybe third day, projected third day quarterbacks about what you mean to them? Um, I mean, last year, just 
I heard you know people talking about the amount of quarterbacks drafted and, and all that kind of thing, and maybe I had an effect on that. I'm not really sure. Um, that's really what's what's gotten to me. I haven't really um, had anybody really reach out and ask, hey, I'm a day three guy. How can I? It hasn't really been like that. Everyone's story and path is different, so you know to try to live out the same way that some other guy did, uh, I don't think is right. Um, I mean, I, for me, it's like. Yeah, this guy I got drafted last. There's some hope for sure, but I can't compare myself. And like everyone's got their own story, and so um, that's that's really all I all I've heard and and how I look at it. Um, but obviously, I'm a big believer, and it doesn't matter where you're drafted. It's what you do when you get there. You know, with that opportunity. So that's my advice to guys that are drafted day three or undrafted guys or whoever. So. Rob, what's talk about putting your emotions and feelings about the Super Bowl aside, being back in the building. You find it something you guys talk about or learn from it and move on and you're just looking forward to next season? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think both. You know, you, you go through such a long year, it's like a marathon with with these guys from camp, off season stuff, all the way through preseason and then during the year. And you're playing football from what is it, August till February. So like you go through a lot with these guys and so you do have all these feelings and emotions. You put so much into it. You get to the final game and you come up short in overtime. And so for all of us, it's like, dang, like, you know, in the moment it's heartbreaking, but um, that's the, the nature of the sport that you play. Um, at the end of the day, we all love this game and we all have passion for it. Um, but when we're watching the film and we want to get better, you have to put those things aside and, and watch it for what it is. You know, what are, what are the coaching points? What are your fundamentals that you have to sink back to and, and execute? Um, so that's what I mean by talking about it. But when I see the guys in the locker room and stuff again, man, it's uh, I mean, we've obviously been through some, some stuff together, but that's the love that you have. Like, we went to war together, and now we get to do it again now. So it gets you excited. Brock, what's your. Do you really pay attention to the draft? Will you be watching it? Will you be texting your teammates throughout? Yeah, um, I'll be in tune to it for sure. Um, will I watch every single pick? I don't know. but. Um, we'll definitely be in tune to who we draft and then uh, just buddies from college or whoever in life uh, get drafted. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty big thing for you know, kids growing up that they get to see their name on TV, get drafted, and, and an opportunity to go live out their dream. So I think it's always a, it's a cool time of year for sure. So um, I'll be in tune. Are you Rob, lobbying let's... at all for guys that you've noticed or that you know? Are you, are you trying at all to influence the powers that be? Like, this guy would be pretty good to have. Um, I mean, for me, you know, John, uh, Kyle, this organization, they've done a good job with, you know, picking, picking guys that are right for our culture, our organization. So, um, obviously I trust them, whoever they get. And, and for me, it's like, whoever they do, they do get, like, let's go. You know, I'll be excited for it, ready to play some football with them and, and uh, do what it takes to win. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. But, you know, in terms of my input on the draft and stuff, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I know players stay out other players in the actual business, that's the way to go. But given the, the chemistry you have with Brandon, obviously to everybody, does it concern you at all when it's kind of up in the air and you know it's hard to know if he's going to be even with the team next year? Yeah, I mean, um, I love VA. And what we've done has been, has been pretty cool. And um, like I've said this before, I'm just thankful that I have had the opportunity to, to play with him and throw him the ball and, and win games with him. It's been awesome. And we're at the time of year where obviously you don't know, like as a player, it's obviously out of our control to, to sign guys and stuff. Like that's up to the front office and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, for me, it's, I do trust John and Kyle in terms of getting guys who we're going to make plays and, and be the right fit for, for our offense and everything. So um, my job as a quarterback is, you know, trusting those guys to get the right guys. And, and play and execute and win. Um, and it's a, obviously it's a business as well. So uh, you have ask and negotiations and all, all these kinds of things. Um, so um, at the end of the day, BA has been a brother to me and I want the best for him. And um, but we're at that time of year where you know negotiations happen and you know, the business side of things kick in. So that's where I'm at with him. What's your, what's your communication been with, like with him? Um, I mean, we've shot each other some texts, um, just checking in, how, how's he doing, and I've been seeing him at the facility, um, you know, in, like the off season ish when he's coming in just to do like some rehab stuff. I, I've ran into him, but um, outside of that, it's you know, I, I've told him I want the, want the best for him and love for him, so um, that's really been about it. So.
Do you have plans to meet up with him and do maybe a throwing session with him and maybe the other receivers? Um, I mean, as of now, um, I'm just throwing with the guys that have reported, you know, for phase one OTAs and, and throwing routes on air and stuff. And, and obviously, I'm on a schedule with my throwing program being here. So if he wants to come, great. I'd love to throw via, obviously. Um, but um, outside of that, don't really know. So. Brock, how, how would you say you're developing as an actor? As an actor? Yeah. Uh, I think I, I still need some more classes or work for sure. But been trying to have fun with it. Um, obviously, I've partnered with some great, great companies and organizations, and, and so, you know, whenever we have to shoot a commercial or something, I, I, I give it my all. There's there's com- com- uh, there's some pictures that were out of you working out, and people were saying, you know, Brock's looking jacked. Um, what are your physical goals this off season? Are you, can you get stronger? Can you get more sudden? Can you get more explosive? What are you working on? What are your goals? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously in the off season for me, you know, you want to add some muscle and stuff, but um, just because it's a long season and realistically it can sort of wear off over time and stuff. So, uh, yeah, get strong, uh, look good, feel good in terms of the explosiveness with both my arm and my legs and. And then uh, I think I've said it before, but like mobility, making sure that you know, I'm staying mobile and flexible and whatnot. So uh, those are the things that I sort of hone into this time of year. And um, you know, obviously come season, that's what matters, is uh, being in the best shape possible for, for what is a marathon. You know, be able to run, make plays, throw the ball, stay in shape. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm preparing for that right now. So. Brock, you'll, Last be, one? you'll be part of that uh, Dwight Clark event next month. What does it mean for you to be up there with Steve Young and Alex Smith and uh, Jeff Garcia to raise money for the Golden Heart Fund? Yeah, I mean, what an honor, you know, to even be able to go up and to speak um, with those with those guys, like legends um, in this organization, and obviously being a being a part of a special night to raise money, you know, for for such a great organization, and and uh, obviously to help out our alumni that have given everything that they've got for this organization. So being able to raise money to help them in, in their areas, uh, it's a great cause. So, I mean, you know, if I was a 49er fan, I'd try to buy tickets and, and be there that night. So show up, baby. Good phone number. Yep. All right, thank you guys. All right, guys, thank, thank you. you.